What's going on, Sam? It's your favorite entrepreneur, Basemental. No. It's your favorite entrepreneur, Basemental, originally known as Rashad. That's my real name. This video ain't, it's not gonna be my usual. It's gonna be far from it, actually. Black Lives Matter. Can you admit that? Because the whole argument is what I'm going to be talking about. It's been on my mind the last few months. It's been on my mind actually since I was about seven years old. My parents were talking to me about all this stuff. So I'm getting it off my chest because the amount of depression and anger I'm feeling is insane. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it's it's not gonna be edited like most. It's it's gonna be raw. It's gonna be real, and we just gonna we just gonna let it out. So, the argument for Black Lives Matter is that Black people matter. That's all we're saying. That is literally all we're saying. Black people matter. We matter in every shape, form, and fashion as any other person on this planet, or more specifically, any other race. And depending on how stupid you are, you believe it. We black people deal with a lot of shit that a lot of other ethnicities don't have to. And if they do, not to the same extent. The argument is that because of what we look like, we are constantly mistreated and disrespected. Now, Black Lives Matter was started by two of the most disrespected people on the planet, black women. They started this because black people kept dying in the hands of the police. And if you look at history, we've been dying for a, mu a lot more than just that. But that's how it started. And it doesn't makes sense to me that you want to say all lives matter but the one life that is screaming for help is the life you argue with mattering that's literally how all lives matter came about after black lives matter was started it was a counter argument to black people saying we're here we matter why are you treating us like this all Lives Matter is a direct counter to that. You're ignoring it completely. And for all those who are saying, I don't see color. Yes, you do. If you don't see color, you're colorblind or you're 100% blind. You see a red light when you stop at a red light. You see a green light when you go. You see a yellow light when you're supposed to, when you're supposed to slow down. You see color. Stop lying to yourself. Black Lives Matter is... We see that you see our color, and we also see how you treat us based on our color. Black people have been here since the beginning of the human race. And now we're treated like shit. All because of something so stupid. My skin complexion. We're literally saying we're people. And y'all are arguing against it. You're arguing against it. Oh, how are you people? How, how are you people? When you kill each other. So we really want to say act like no other ethnicity or no other race on the planet kills, don't kill their own. Seriously? The only reason why we get so perpetuated as the killers is because we're over-policed. No? Think about how often you see a police officer in your neighborhood. If you don't look like me. Really sit and think about it. Think about how often it's reported in your neighborhood if you don't look like me about 
any crime actually happening. Really sit and think about it. Like, how you can sit here and argue that what we're saying is a lie, yet you admit to benefiting from it. Don't believe me? Ever been pulled over by a cop? You are yelling horrifically, disrespecting the cop, and they let you go? How did everyone who looks like me ends up dead? Or behind bars for longer than the longer than the amount of the jaw of the uh, crime that they were sent to jail for. I have a cousin who was in jail for something he ain't even do. Lost ten years of his life. If I'm not wrong, at least thirteen. And he had two kids. Half a head of life, he was not there. Because of something he didn't do. And y'all have the nerve to argue with people trying to say we're a people. Treat us equally. How is it that George Floyd supposedly gave a counterfeit bill that I'm hearing different stories about of it being counterfeit and it being real or the lady considering it counterfeit and it turning out to being real? How do you end up with a, net, with a knee put in your neck for 8 minutes and 46 seconds? Just, just from working at my job alone, I know... Once you put your hands behind your back like that, you start to lose air. It's harder for you to breathe. I learned this from cops at my job. So he can't breathe. His face is shoved in the ground. And the knee is put into the back of his neck that I am not, wouldn't be surprised caused some sort of nerve damage before he actually died. And y'all sitting here arguing that he did something wrong before it. When I know... White people have walked into liquor stores with fake IDs and come out with obscene amounts of alcohol. But they don't end up dead for that. A, an assumed to be counterfeit $20 bill deserves us being killed. Breonna Taylor, an assumption on her boyfriend selling drugs, she ends up dead in her own apartment. At least eight bullets put in her, 20 shot in her apartment, something around those numbers. Ahmaud, I think Ahmaud Arbery, dead for running. And that's not even by the cops, that's just by everyday white people. It doesn't make sense that you can argue against the truth put in front of you. And that is why, I, nope, that's going to be a different video. The argument for Black Lives Matter is that we matter. We are here. Y'all wouldn't exist without us. How is that so hard for you to understand? Like, and then we've dealt with y'all bullshit for 450 years. And y'all are so blind to the truth. Like, there are a lot of people who are waking up to it. There are a lot of people aware of it now. There are a lot of people who are waking on, waiting on us to wake up to it. And finally, like, say enough is enough. I believe part of Black Lives Matter is enough is enough. This, ain't, this is not happening no more. It's not going on. Kill it. Like, we're not doing this. this is, we're done. We've dealt with this for 400 years. We're done with it. Either y'all stop fixing stuff, or we gonna have to do it. That's how we're feeling. We're angry now. And y'all mean to tell me... We've... Jumped through all of your hoops. Literally jumped through all of your hoops. Anything y'all put in front of us, we still managed to get around. And y'all can't even admit we're human? We fought for civil rights. Let, like, really let that sink in. We fought for y'all to be civil with us. And y'all still can't treat us past slaves. I, I just have a hard time grasping 
how you don't see how your skin complexion benefits you. And you won't believe people who have watched it happen for 450 years. We've watched y'all benefit from how you look for 450 years. And when we tell you about the truth, you don't want to hear it. But all lives matter. Seriously? Or well, in this case, blue lives matter. Like, how, y'all believe all, like, y'all treat animals better than we're treated. Y'all buy animals clothes and all this other shit, like, when an artist has to get, has to speak to a crowd, and he has to worry about his job because he's speaking out for something he believes in. John Boyega spoke out, spoke out about black being for black and black loving black and black not tolerating the BS anymore. Oh yeah, because it's happening in Europe. I asked someone who's a Brit. That has been happening in Europe. And he's just as clueless as a bunch of other white people who don't have to, who've never seen it because they never had to worry about it. They never had to think about that. He's worried about his career over speaking about for of over speaking for his people. Let that sink in. How many white people spoke up for their people? Really, really think like how many white people actually spoke for their people? That's all they did. They just spoke for their people. They said whatever they wanted to say, whenever they wanted to say it, nothing happened to them. He's scared he won't have a job anymore because he's an actor and entertainer. He's scared of not having a job for speaking up for his people and being tired of police brutality, racism, systematic racism, and all of the things implemented through Jim Crow and Willie Lynch. Are you serious? It does not make sense to me. How can someone speak about their own people and still be afraid of having a job. Because of the white dominated entertainment industry, at least behind the scenes, which apparently is where the most money is made too. So let that sink in. But If you can argue against a single section of the human race trying to acknowledge their own existence, what does that say about you and the privilege you've been receiving? I got into a debate on someone with someone online on a, a, a white friend of mine, she's a very good friend of mine, on a white friend of mine's post. And he refused to understand me because I didn't speak or type in a way that was understandable in terms of white, white standards. He, he didn't understand me, but he understood the two other white women arguing the same exact thing. The same thing. Seriously? Black Lives Matter is recognizing us as more than just criminals. And we're tired of being the, the white people's punching bags. Because that's exactly what y'all turned us into. Anything that's wrong, you point at us. Every time. But y'all have committed genocide in the biggest forms around the planet. And y'all get therapy. Seriously? Like Black Lives Matter is Black Lives Matter is saying we can worship God too. But how does us worshiping God result in someone that looks white? Someone who looks, someone that looks white coming into our church, praying and worshiping it with us, like we supposed to do then killing and burning us. 
inside the church, yet being treated to McDonald's. We get pulled over on the street asking why we're being detained and end up dead. No one sees a problem with that. Not even a little bit. Seriously? And I remember being that kid arguing with my parents saying, no, like, it's not all because they're white. But if you break every situation down, the only real difference between me being dead and you being arrested is your skin color. Seriously? White people, have you ever, ever felt fear being pulled over? And I'm not talking about no... I happen to have weed this day. I'm talking about you being pulled over for a tail light and you feel a cold run up your spine like it's like it's negative 20 degrees below zero and you feel every goosebump and hair on your body stand up because a cop pulled you over only to find out it was for a tail light. You think your life's in jeopardy. Ever felt that? No? Alright, let me give you another one. You ever felt like you walked down the street into a group of Hispanic people, group of group of black people, group of Asian people, and see them clinch another person because of their fear of that? I've seen it. I've experienced it. It happened to me. I went to college, predominantly white, and I've seen predominantly white women and white men flinch at the sight of me. I've seen a white woman grab her boyfriend the second she saw me. I've seen her grab her purse. I've seen white dudes buckle at the pure sight of me. And I'm a nice dude. I'm, I'm a gentle dude. I, I prefer not to be in any conflict with anybody. But the second I saw that, I wanted to give them a reason to be afraid. Now I gotta find a reason to make you afraid of me. And you're already petrified of me. Because thanks to the news, we're always portrayed as that. Black Lives Matter is also saying, recognize us as more than just the criminals. We're not the criminals majority of the time. Yet we still end up dead. Oh, and for those of y'all who still think all lives matter, let me let me let me give you a little little insight. Majority of America is white. So if majority of the America of America is white, how are you being killed at the same rate as us? You make up majority of the population. So if you make up majority of the population, Yet the same amount of people die. That's less people according to the white population. How was black people? How are black people one of the smaller, if not the smallest, population in America? Yet we die four times faster than you. We're locked up four times faster. Yet y'all do the worst crimes. Yet it doesn't make sense to me how you can say all lives matter. And there's patterns showing that all lives don't matter. And the fact you're even arguing that. And yeah, I'm going to go there too. The fact you're arguing that immediately puts you against whatever religion you believe in. Because majority of religions believe in unity. All lives matter is a direct... Is direct directly against it. All we're asking for is to be acknowledged and given the same opportunities and not be killed for simple reasons. Unnecessarily. And how is it that y'all want to throw black on black crime in our face when the only reason most of this stuff existed was because of the shit y'all put in our communities. Drugs thrown in by the government. Don't believe me? Look it up. Gentrification. Government. 
Oh, gentrification is basically uh, systematic racism in terms of places of living. Like how you get a Chinatown in New York, yet you get Brooklyn and Harlem, predominantly black probably. Or you get Italian town, or you get German town, you get Chinatown, you get all these different towns and places that just seem to be nicknames for the spots. And they're actually gentrification. People being put in certain areas so you can keep an eye on them. But all lives are all lives matter, right? So why are we policed more? If all lives matter. There should be the same amount of police in every every city, every place, everywhere. Yet we end up more likely to put in jail and killed by cops. Proven statistics. Since all lives matter. Go ahead and look up your statistics. I know that's what you're looking for. Go ahead and look them. Go ahead and, go ahead and look for them. All black lives matter is saying we matter. We are here. Treat us equally. That's all, it was, that's all it's saying. That's all it's saying. And it was started by black women. You know how pissed I was to find out it was started by black women? And I don't have nothing against my sisters. I love my sisters. I'm a huge fan of my sisters. I think they're the prettiest things, most gorgeous things on the planet. But it hurts that a male didn't step up and start this program. Because women have, black women have had to do that constantly for us. Because we end up dead more often. Don't believe me? How is it more black men end up dead and black women end up stuck single parenting? Explain it to me. Explain how dedicated fathers, Philando Castile, are killed in front of their parents. I mean killed in front of their children. And now the wives are stuck having to deal with that trauma with the child alone. Still got to raise them. Still got to feed them. Still got to provide for them. They're doing that alone because we end up dead the most. All lives matter, yet I constantly keep seeing black lives being destroyed. More particularly, in my opinion, black male lives. Because to me, this whole all lives matter shit is saying... All other lives matter. Y'all's are in question. That's what that says to me. And it really makes me think and feel like black men. No one gives a shit about us. It really makes me feel that. Like. If black lives mattered. Why are our schools the worst? And it's not just the kids. I, how, how, it, it, how is it an argument against a ethnicity of people, or in your case, against a race of people, that all lives matter, and yours are in question, 24-7. Like, the fact you can wonder about someone else's walk in life is a privilege in itself. The fact you can walk around and do whatever you want, feel whatever you want, act as ever you want, is a privilege. And you get more of that the brighter your skin looks. You get less of that the darker your skin looks, it's not that hard to figure out. No, a lot of black people walk on eggshells because we've got to make y'all feel comfortable with us. That's why I agree so much with J. Cole saying like black people are born learning. We, we born in the struggle and we already got to learn two languages. We got to speak our people and speak white. 
before we can think about learning, before we can even think about learning Arabic, uh, Hindu, Spanish, Portuguese, like before we can even learn all of these languages, we gotta learn white first. A lot of y'all ain't gotta worry about it. A lot of white people ain't gotta speak no one's language. And you're very good at vocalizing it too. You're very good at saying, you're in America, speak English. No. Never had heard anyone say that before, have you? Where I've always seen my people try to compensate for that person not speaking English. Are there a bunch of us that say it? Absolutely. I've just heard it more from white people. My personal opinion. I just... Y'all have... It doesn't make sense to me that you can argue when the statistics that you stick to so heavily are right in front of you telling you the truth but you just don't want to believe it because blue lives matter because all lives matter because Asian lives matter black lives matter has never said wow all our lives are more important we're literally asking to be considered equal with everyone else. That's all we're asking. Consider us human. Not slaves. Not animals. Not stuff to breed with. Like, we're human. And we're the founding human. So the ones you actually should be treating like royalty aren't the white ones you're looking at or the white gods you think you're praying to because the white god you believe in looks like me yet we are still treated like the shit of this world it doesn't make sense that you can argue all lives matter and it's two times, if not three times as hard for a black person to get into college than it is a white person. And you can come from the same state, the same city, and still be given more opportunity just on how you look. No? Don't believe me? I live in Maryland. Y'all know all the counties and stuff around. I have a friend of mine who's from Bel Air, Maryland. Not too far from Baltimore. Because I'm a Baltimorean. I'm from Baltimore. I'm a Baltimore artist. One of my closest friends is a white guy that lives in Bel Air, Maryland. How is it my high school had to struggle just to get AP classes included and he was in school with basic programming? Explain that to me. If all lives matter, why isn't there programming school in Baltimore? Why isn't there more programming courses in Baltimore? Why aren't there more AP courses? We can't handle it, although we've been proven to be just as smart, if not smarter. Right. So, all lives matter, yet I always just keep getting shit on. Right? That's, that's how this works. All lives matter, but y'all's are always in question. Right? Even though the people who have been doing the worst since before now, no one questions. We, like slavery, the way we, the way white people handled it, the worst of the worst from Europe handling slavery, Treated us like garbage. So, you miss me with all this All Lives Matter stuff. Because of All Lives Matter, if All Lives Matter, ours would. No one seems to care. And Black Lives Matter has become a movement. It's no longer just a trend. It's a movement. And I'm so blessed and grateful to be able to see it. It's no longer just a talk anymore. It's a movement now. We're moving. We're making moves. And the whole world is watching it. 
whole world. And honestly, if it wasn't for a, uh, a very dope subscriber of mine, his name, uh, or, or at least his, his, uh, his username is the young, uh, the young boy blue, uh, merch. Just hold up, give me a second. I'm gonna look it up on my phone. The young boy blue from the trenches. The young blue boy from the trenches. I'm looking at his username right now. Young blue boy from the trenches. From the trenches. If it wasn't for him, like saying I need to keep making content, I would have kept this to myself. Cause this this stuff weighs heavily on my mind, and I appreciate him for voicing that on my YouTube channel, in my Instagram. Actually saying like, "No, bro, like you make fire content. Like it's so good for one of my own to say that." Cause I never thought I'd be supported by my own. I just, but I see it's there. Like. Now we're being supported by our own across the world. And across the world is having the same problem. So how can you argue all lives matter when every life that looks like mine is arguing the same thing? That we matter. We're arguing we matter to an argument that says, yeah, of course you do. Just not as much as you think you do. We're arguing to be equal and you have a problem with it. No one's noticed how we try to do some of the same things y'all say we can do and we find out we can't. We're reminded we black all the time. Like, I was talking to a white coworker of mine and I told him it doesn't make sense that the only place I feel comfortable is at my home. That's the only place I feel comfortable enough to be myself. Because the rest of the world clearly has a problem with me. For no reason at all. Except how I look and how the news perceives me. That's your excuse. So I won't believe all lives matter until black lives matter. And I was scared to make this video. I don't care anymore. It needs to be said. Black lives have changed the world in multiple occasions, in multiple ways, and we won't acknowledge them in history books, so we got to go hunt for them ourselves. Blog, all lives matter, yet we're not represented as much as we're supposed to be represented in American history books. That's your all lives mattering. We'll learn about Spanish law, Spanish Inquisition, Egypt. We learn about all that. Very basic though. We never learn about what we did in America. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. We never learn about what we did in America after slavery. We just learn slavery and then present. That's it. Oh, and we also learn about the two that people love quoting for being peaceful. Malcolm X and Martin Luther King Jr. Yet they were dead when they decided they were going to join together. They ended up dead. Both assassinated. Seriously? Yet all lives matter. All lives matter, yet... Our cities are literally treated like the scum of the earth. No one pays them any mind. People are scared to visit them. They'll visit Chicago. Won't go visit Chirac. They'll visit Baltimore, but won't go visit Baltimore. And people still feel scared to come here. Like, all lives matter. Yet the only life I see feared is the ones that look like me. Why are you so scared of us? We've made it very clear if we haven't, after dealing with your shit for 426 years, that we're not that type of person. We're just tired of your bull. We're, we're tired of it. And this movement is us making moves to no longer tolerate it. And I really wonder if y'all get that. 
Black Lives Matter is saying we matter. We want the same stuff as you. I want to be able to walk outside and not have to think about a cop pulling me over or I end up dead. I want to be able to walk outside in my neighborhood and not have to care, have a care in the world except I don't worry about my bills. I would love to, but I can't help but feel like I got to watch my back 24-7. Yet all lives matter. If all lives mattered, you would feel the same thing I'm feeling. Yet you don't. Because black lives matter. Are you are you getting it? This is the argument. You're quick to argue that the Confederate matters. Yet they've they're half the reason the world is in the well America is in the state it's in. The KKK were less monitored than the Black Panthers. And they were trying to protect our own communities from them. From the cops. From miseducation. Our, our leaders were killed for us learning to stand up for ourselves. Martin Luther King and Malcolm X were killed for that. Marcus Garvey. Like the list goes on. How, how is it that peaceful protesters end up dead, yet rioters live? Explain it to me. Because as far as I've seen, black people have peacefully protested for years. Yet we still end up hurt after a peaceful protest. Explain it to me, please. It doesn't make sense. We're peacefully protesting and y'all telling us to disband and we refuse because we want to protest. We want to make our voices heard. And y'all start sicking your dogs on us? And I'm not talking about current time. Y'all should know what time I'm talking about. Y'all start shooting us with water hoses. And the pressure from those are in painful. That's what y'all start shooting us with. Because y'all can't stand to see us work, work together. You burn down Black Wall Street. Literally bomb it. But all lives matter. Right? Because if all lives mattered, Black Wall Street wouldn't have been burned down. Right? All lives matter. But as long as you can look at a section of the human race, a.k.a. the black race, and see... We constantly get less and end up producing more. And you really have it stuck in your heads that we are here for your entertainment. No, no one finds it weird that a lot of black people end up in entertainment. No one finds that a little weird. Majority, like a lot of black people want to grow up to be entertainers. Because it's a way out. No one finds it weird. Like no one. I, I, no one. How do you. It doesn't. Make sense to me. That you can argue. All lives matter. Yet one life is constantly shown. To not matter. Please find a way to explain it to me because I'm, I'm not, I'm, I don't get it. I don't get it. You can find all the excuses. You can find, a, oh, I had to work hard to get what I had to get and blah, 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 blah. But no, you still had to work hard. But you don't see that 50% of your working hard is on how you look. It's been proven that black people have to work two to three times harder to get the same jobs. I got a bachelor's degree. You know how depressed I was to find out a bachelor's degree don't change shit about you getting a job. It actually makes it harder. 
I have a bachelor's degree in drawing. That's what I love to do. I'm an artist. I know I'm an artist by nature. But I still got to find jobs to be able to pay bills and keep moving forward in my life. To buy new art stuff. To buy more equipment. To buy books and things that inspire me. To buy movies that inspire me. To hang out with friends. To travel around the world. I need money. So how is it I spent four years at college to come home to nothing. No job. Struggling. But I got, I, I, I played the game of getting your degree. How is it I'm, how? Yet, all lives matter. It's not making sense to me. That you can say all lives matter. And it's constantly shown to you that they don't. We got a president right now. Who is against the very thing that built this country. Even though it was forced. Because it was. Immigrancy. Immigrants built this country, bro. Oh, oh, and let, let's, let's not forget. Emigrancy, let me fix that. Emigrancy uh, stole the country because it belonged to natives, hence Native Americans. It belonged to natives or Native American Indians. We stole it, a.k.a. y'all did, because we ain't stole nothing. We were stolen. And my y'all migrated here because this is supposed to be Alcatraz of sorts for Europe. My uh, migrated here and then snatched us along with you to build your country. We've lost more people between slavery and the Atlantic slave trade than what Hitler did to the Jews. We have yet to receive any reparations. We still got to Pull ourselves up from the dirt. No. Why is it that everything like every single big time entertainer comes from dirt? No one finds that a little weird. No one finds it that Kevin Hart came out of Philadelphia, which is considered one of the most dangerous cities in the world. Yet he's one of the most he's one of the biggest entertainers right now. No one finds it weird. All the biggest entertainers seem to come from the biggest struggles. No one finds it weird. And all of them look like me. No one finds it even a slight bit weird. So again, it doesn't make sense to me how all lives matter. But it's constantly shown that black lives don't. It doesn't make sense to me. I, You got me beat. Until someone can explain it to me. I'll never get it. And part of the problem is y'all don't see how you benefit from it. And it blows my mind. Because I can spot it a mile away. Y'all, y'all, you, you literally can walk, you can get pulled off by a cop and feel nothing. Even cuss the cop out. Nothing happened to you. All we got to do is ask a question. We're resisting arrest. Oh, there's videos to prove it. And there's so many, and I'm not ignoring the people who get it. I'm not trying to ignore them. I'm just saying what all of them are saying. If all lives mattered, if all lives were equal, how is it that everyone that looks like me is arguing the same thing across the planet and you still have the nerves to sit and say all lives matter? And it's being shown that they don't. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense that a woman, a white woman, can give birth to a child and have the most beautiful experience ever, regardless of how horrible the actual birth was. Have a beautiful experience with doctors. Yet, it seems like with black women, they don't seem to have the same experience ever. 
how is it that women equal have two different experiences doing something women were built to do, which was give birth. Give birth. How does that end up being two different totally experiences? Through hospitals. How? It's almost like you find out you don't matter before you even come out the womb. And black mothers try so hard for black kids to feel like they matter. And the rest of the world constantly shows us we don't. Or at least the rest of society. So it will never make sense to me how you can say all lives matter. But resist saying black lives matter. It, it, it doesn't make sense to me. How can you say all lives matter? Yet it's three times as hard for a black person to get alone. How can you say all lives matter? And it's three times as hard for a black person to buy a house due to how hard it is to get the loan. Explain it to me, because I don't get it. How is it? You have a virus going on. And the people the virus originated from blames people who look like me because we're dying of it the most. When if you look at the jobs we happen to attain, gover the government jobs or the essential jobs that y'all complain about stuff y'all need done, and it gets done. Those essential jobs that y'all don't like are the jobs we working, which means we're still taking care of the country and still being treated like shit. Their essential job, their essential work is literally taking care of the country who barely see any money. I know for a fact a lot of those trash truckers you see that you try to look down at only see 14 an hour. The crazy, the pot, the, the, they, they, people have an interesting way of considering what's worth their life. And it's, there's a virus going on and you don't see that the fact we're dying of it faster is due to direct exposure to it because we taking care of you. Right? No, no one sees that. We got to be out. We're out here doing all the work that y'all don't want to do with these government essential jobs. And no one's seeing a correlation between how we're dying of it the most and we're exposed to it the most. The whole time everyone's in their homes we're working governmental jobs. I know a, a dude in a private group I'm in who's working a, who's working as a nurse. There's an artist I follow named Akio. He has a Akio sweatshop. This dude works as a nurse, as a, as a, as a, uh, I think a janitorial uh, co or custodial worker for uh, Johns Hopkins. He's basically cleaning up behind the people who had corona. I, I pray to God he doesn't ever catch the disease, but bruh, I, I am an essential worker. I'm a fuel attendant, which means those fire ambulances and, 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 and the fire engines and police department and those vehicles you see picking, tearing up the streets and fixing the asphalt, we are, I, have to give, I have to get them gas. Y'all may not see that as important. But if they don't get gas, you don't get what you want. And because of the interesting intricacies of Baltimore, I'm a temp with no health care. In a virus. And no one sees the correlation between people who struggling to... It doesn't make sense to me. It, it, it does not make sense to me. That you can say all lives matter. And constantly see that black lives don't. And choose 
to ignore the fact that all lives don't matter. Because if they did, we wouldn't have anything to complain about. If all lives mattered, we wouldn't be saying a word. We'd be fine. We have nothing. We, for what? What would we complain for? If all lives mattered, the only way we complain about is the same stuff you complain about. If all lives mattered. So it, 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 it blows my mind that all lives don't matter. And the ones that don't matter look like me. And we got to struggle to feel like we matter. In a lot of society that shows us the opposite. And y'all wonder why we act the way we do. It, it's crazy to me that you can still argue against a people asking to matter. How? I can give you countless examples. Desegregation. Brown against the Board of Education. Shoot, my parents. My parents were on the tail, born on the tail end of segregation. So they fought to go to school and fought to go home. But all lives matter. Because if they did, they would have had to fight to go to school. Or fight to get out of the school to get home. And then probably fight when they get home. But that's because Baltimore. Seriously? But all lives matter, right? Right? All, our, all lives matter. That's, that's, your, that's what's going to be your excuse. All lives still matter. Right? And I'm giving you all the examples of how one life doesn't. And you still manage to argue it. So I, I, I'll use this example. It's a post I just saw before even starting this video. 4th of July, which is the day I'm filming it. It's not, a, it's not an Independence Day. It's an Independence Day for all countries. All countries are independent today. All countries. This is all countries day. Right? Because all countries matter. Not just America's independence. All countries matter. And I want to give a shout out to... My brother, Sir Lax, and I think her Twitter name was Athena Princess. I'm going I'm to look it up right now. Just like I, if I'm not wrong, I got a screenshot it. Yep, I'm leaving this in the video too. I got it from my brother, Sir Lax, and it's uh, Paris Athena. It says, don't forget that today is all countries matter day. It's wrong to focus and bring attention to only one country today, no matter what the meaning behind it is or the fight and sacrifice it took to get there. All countries matter. If you don't see how accurate that is with the all, ma all lives matter statement, you are part of the problem. And Black Lives Matter is not willing to deal with people who's sitting on the fence anymore. Either you with us or you're not. Because we're tired of it. I'm tired of it. I didn't even have to deal with it as bad as generations before me. And I'm sick of it. I've dealt with it at a camp I worked at. And if it wasn't for me knowing what I knew, I'd have never saw it. And I spotted it. The day I had to tell a kid about racism because a kid was being racist to him. And then I'm not invited back the next summer. Because I had to tell a kid all of the steps to take in order to have the, to have the kid who was being racist to him have something happen to him. He said he was talking to the other, te other counselors and they did nothing. So I talked to him and broke it down to him. I told him. All right, look, you, 
Unfor unfortunately enough, you're a black kid. But unfortunately, that comes with a lot of stereotypes. And one of those stereotypes is they assume you dance. Now, the person harassing him, being racist to him, is Hispanic or Latino or Mexican or Cuban or Puerto Rican. He was one of them. I don't want to be rude to anyone's ethnicity because I'm not that type of person. But he was of a Spanish descent, I'll say. Yeah, he was, he was of a Spanish descent on one of the Spanish-speaking languages. And I told him, you could be saying thing back and say, well, you should be able to dance. You should be able to do cha-cha, merengue, box trot, whatever. You can't do it. I had to tell him, like, to try to be strong enough and not say that back. I had to tell him that if they do that, you tell your counselor. And if you don't tell your counselor, you tell that counselor's partner counselor. If you don't tell him, then you tell the person in charge of those counselors. If they don't do anything, then you tell the person in charge of all those counselors in charge of the head counselors for that section. And then if they don't do anything, you tell the head of the program. And if they don't do anything, then you tell your parents. Look at all those steps you got to go through to get something done. He's got to go through all of that just for someone to acknowledge that he's being mistreated. Then I got a call, or well, they got a call saying someone named, uh, and the kid gave me a hug. The kid literally was like, thank you. And I broke it all down to him. He was like, thank you. And I had to try and encourage him. Like, I encourage you to take the high road. I encourage you to go through this process. That's what I told the kid. Yet if all lives mattered, wouldn't the situation have been settled? When he told what the boy did, if all lives mattered, wouldn't it have been dealt with then and there? Why did I have to teach him to go through that whole process just to have something done for something that was wrong? He was stereotyped. Y'all don't like being stereotyped. From what I can tell, white people can't stand it. Y'all love it in jokes, though. Y'all love it when it's something to laugh at. But there's a lot of truth said behind the smile. And I got that from my family, my big brother, who I look up to so much, and a comedian I've looked up to since I found out about him. I watch all his specials like I'm like it's my job. Kevin Hart. Dave Chappelle's another one. Chris Rock is also another one. Like it doesn't make sense that you can say all lives matter. And I'm telling you and showing you that they don't and you won't acknowledge it. That is the argument. That is the problem. You're ignoring. Imagine a kid. Oh, no, I'm sorry. People do this already. But a kid telling you they're molested side by someone. They tell you who it is and then you don't believe them. They go on believing something's wrong with them. Or they go on believing something else horrible about themselves that wasn't that's not true. I know a girl who was molested well after I would say molesting age. She was raped. And she harbored no ill will against the dude. Because she was told that it's happened to her family for generations. So eventually it was going to happen to her. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? I've, I've never heard this from any white person. That the darkness that's going to happen to you is generational. It's going to happen. Are you serious? And you still want to yell all lives matter. Yet when women speak up, black women in particularly, it's a previous statistic. Black women who speak up for being molested and mistreated, no one pays them any fucking mind. And it pisses me off. Like, how is it... How is it, if all lives matter, children, babies, little toddlers can identify when they're being mistreated 
based on how they look. Explain it. Explain it to me. There's a videos, viral videos, of a black girl looking at a white girl doll and a black girl doll and saying the black girl one was, the white one was beautiful and the black one was ugly. Because she knew that the white doll was considered prettier. That the white doll would have a better life. That the white doll is more desirable, is more is smarter, has prettier hair, better skin, prettier eyes. You're seeing this in a child, yet you still argue that all lives matter. And this is a child showing you that her own life doesn't matter to her. Pointing at a white doll that matters more than the black one. You see this video and still argue that all lives matter. And the little, this little girl is telling you blatantly and very clear that they don't. I am just an artist who's fed up. This has been heavy on my heart. This has been heavy on my mind. So I'm gonna address as much of it, as much as I can. And if you wanna talk about it, you wanna have a conversation about it, hit the comments. You can find me anywhere at Basimental. That's B-A-S-I-M-E-N-T-A-L. I will never care about all lives mattering until the ones that look like me do. Because I keep seeing that they don't. And for a black man to still feel like I ain't shit strictly because of the environment I live in and how I'm treated differently for the worst of reasons that aren't even real. They're perceptive. I'm being treated like shit off of the very same legacy you benefit from. White people benefit from their skin color, which is a legacy passed down to them generationally from their forefathers and y'all can't seem to grasp that you benefit from this legacy and we struggle from it how do you miss that how you can catch on to you benefiting from your skin complexion it's been proven in children and through one of my favorite people, Jane Elliott's tests and, and question, viral questions online. She asked a question to a group of white people. If you see what's going on to black people, would you want that treatment for yourself? No one answered. Then she said, let me rephrase the question. You see what's going on to black people. You are allowing this to happen to them. Yet you don't want it to happen to you and you accept it. Why? No one answered. Which means, continue to say, which means you clearly get what's going on. You understand and see how they're being treated. Yet you choose to do nothing about it. And now here people give the excuse of that's not my fight. Bullshit. That's bullshit. If you're someone who believes in God, it's your fight. Because God is about unity. The devil is of separation. If you consider yourself a lover of humanity, this is your fight. Humanity is human. 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 All humans. 
All of us are human. We're not a different race. We're all human. doesn't like it doesn't make sense to me that all lives matter and in the course of this video I have given you reasons and examples as to why they don't and I can guarantee you there are going to be people who still argue that all lives matter. And this is a group of people yelling out to the world that you forgot someone. And it just so happens that the someone you forgot is how you came to exist in the first place. The someone you forgot is the black woman that created all of mankind. That someone you forgot is the black man that helped continue to create mankind. If all lives mattered, how can a life argue that it doesn't? How? Because if all lives mattered and they were actually equal, there'd be nothing to argue about. There'd be nothing to argue about. There'd be nothing there. There's no argument to make if all lives truly mattered. We have the same opportunities. Lies. There's people scared to go to black cities. We'll come for the entertainment, though. Won't go into the city to help it, but you'll damn sure show up at a football game. Won't come into Baltimore to help it, but you'll show up at a, at a, at a concert outside the city. Won't show up to help the city, but you'll host stuff here to make money through it, though. You'll host an Otacon. You'll have a concert. You'll have movies. You'll have movies premiere in movie theaters, but won't have a movie premiere here. Yet you'll still film in the in the movie. You'll still film your movies here. And it's a predominantly black city. I don't get it. I don't get it and I may never get it. That you can argue against a life mattering because all of the others do. The argument black lives matter is only asking no is telling you we're going to matter. You don't want us to, but we're going to matter. You don't care for us, but we're going to matter. Even if we got to do it ourselves. And if black lives, if all lives really matter, Why is one life persecuted, pressured, broken down, destroyed so much that when it talks and asks for help, you have the nerve to question the evidence that has been presented to you from these people for 450 years yet you still manage to pull the words 
all lives matter out of your mouth. And it's blatant history showing that they don't. I just, that is the argument. I'm going to be making more of these videos and I'm going to be addressing as much of it as I can, as best as I can. If you want to talk about it in the comments, I am more than willing to talk about it with you. If you are not, don't. I am much more concerned about getting my people equal than I am about how you feel about it. This I did for me and my people. So if you want to play the race card, I'm doing this for me and my people. If you're behind my people, you're with us, you support us, you're an ally, then you understand the argument. If you're not, then you don't want to. And that's fine. Just get out of our way. Simple. Easy. Quick. To the point. There'll be a series of these, like I said already. I needed to get this off my chest. And this is just the argument of Black Lives Matter. We didn't even talk about the specifics of George Floyd. Of Breonna Taylor. Of Ahmaud Arbery of other situations that happen in the same process. And how can you tell me all lives matter? And the second we start standing up for ourselves, racial attacks go up. Explain it. Please, if all lives matter, why are we being hung? Not white people, you ain't got nothing to worry about. I don't really hear about Spanish people being hung. Very rarely do I hear about any other one else being hung, unless you look like me. So if all lives matter, why? Do, why does all of this stuff skyrocket the second we decide to start standing up for ourselves? The second we decide we're tired of y'all BS? The second we said we decide, we just, the second we decided we're tired of your pacifications? We want change. We want it now. How do we become the targets? Because we want to be equal and exist and be human. If all lives matter, how can black lives argue that they don't? And it's proven evidence that they don't. I am your favorite entrepreneur, Baltimorean artist, Basemental originally known as Rashad. And this is my understanding of the Black Lives Matter argument. You want to talk? Hit the comments. Subscribe for more videos. Y'all know my art channel, so I'm be putting more of those out, but I'm going to get this off my chest. I appreciate you, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.